Now to a Fox 5 update. The mother of a Las Vegas boy murdered and stuffed in a freezer is suing her boyfriend. Brandon Toslin is accused of killing four-year-old Mason Dominguez. The lawsuit paints a clearer picture of the claims of the horrors leading up to Toslin's arrest. Fox 5's Drew Andre joins us live from the Regional Justice Center after digging into that lawsuit. Well, Kim, an attorney for the family told me that they know Toesland doesn't have much, so they say this isn't a money grab, but they do believe that Toesland should pay monetarily for the physical and mental abuse he's put on the family. Months before Mason's death, a new lawsuit claims Brandon Toesland began systematically alienating Mason's mom and her family and friends between March and July of 2021 in small, incremental, but increasing acts of domination and control. Toesland allegedly kept Mason's mother and daughter away from each other anytime he wasn't around to make sure they didn't speak to one another about anything related to him. The lawsuit states Toslin controlled both of their movements, and the mom feared for her and her daughter's lives. As Fox 5 has reported, Mason's mother sent a note with her daughter to school, saying she was being held against her will. That teacher called police, and then Toslin was taken into custody, and Mason's body was found. But the suit shows the lengths the mother went to get that note to her daughter. It claims... Over a period of weeks, she found some sticky notes in the car, and for the few seconds she would be alone, she began scribbling emergency messages and tried to come up with a way to get help without both of them being killed. One day in February, Toslin allegedly allowed the mom and daughter to sleep in the same room, and that's when she made her move. School was off for President's Day, but the following day, the mother coached her daughter quietly to put the sticky notes, each of which had been written at various times, in her sock under her foot. And it says the mother waited with dread for law enforcement, who did eventually arrive. The lawsuit lists four causes of action. The wrongful death of Mason Dominguez, the false imprisonment of his mom and sister, the intentional infliction of emotional distress, and finally, negligence. Citing Toslin represented himself as someone that would care for Mason but instead abused and allegedly killed. And according to a GoFundMe from the mom's side of the family, burial and funeral services have been arranged. As for Toesland, he's due back in court next month. I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.